y'all. How you doing? And I'm back again. <laughs> back again. And we're going to do a relationship reading. Love reading for uh, the Twin Flame Soulmates. See what's going on here in the um, Saturn Retrograde for you guys. See what's coming up. See what's happening. Heavenly angels, archangels of the highest high, of the greatest of the great. Bring the messages that you have for Simply Love to give to the people in the universe, the collective. What are the messages you have for the collective? Let me wake these cards up. It's been a while since I used these. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube, but I'm, I'm back. I'm getting it back together, okay? I'm so thankful for each and every one of you who've been patient with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to videos. They're going to be pouring in here in a minute. So this is for the Twin Flame Soulmate uh, relationships going on in the um, Twin Flame Soulmates in the Saturn Retrograde. We're going to see what's coming up here. Holy Spirit, Ancestors, Great of the Greatest, high, the Highest Energy coming in. The messages for the Collective, for the Twin Flame Soulmate Energy. What's going on? What's going on? Twin flame soulmate energy. What's going on? For the Saturn retrograde. What's going on? What's the energy for the twin flame soulmate energy coming up with this Saturn retrograde? What do they need to know? Do they need to know what's going on for the energies. Let's see. Sorry, this is another timeless reading as well. Well, I'm saying timeless because the world just goes around and around. Even when we're gone, there's still going to be these videos here for somebody else in that next generation. This is, this is going to happen to them. They're going to need the information. So it just goes on and on and on. Twin flame soulmate energies that's going on or will be going on. What's the messages for the collective? Twin flame soulmates. Well, I feel like a lot of you with this judgment card could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Is um, uh, some people are gonna come up, at, you know, and resurrect some. Somebody's gonna want a resurrection of of, of a relationship. Somebody wants to bring something for some of you uh, back alive again that's dead. It's been dead, it's been gone, okay? They're going to want a, a new beginning here with the world card. They want a whole new beginning. Two major arcana cards together, y'all. So They're going to take action here, the king of wands. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Somebody's going to aggressively take action. Somebody, um, I feel like who may be settled now. Yeah, somebody from your past. See, it's all, it's come, they're coming back from the past. Something that you thought was dead and gone. Something that you thought was dead and gone wants to resurrect it. There's an angel here, so the angel could be pushing this person to come back or um, advising this person to come back. Maybe they're using their, their angel guides, spirit guides are telling them to uh, come back here and they're being they're taking action on it to start it all over again. They want a new beginning. Oops. You already know this person. You may have known them from your uh, from as being a, a child. Y'all may have been together for a long time. You might even been married to this person. Who knows? But um, they're coming back. Yeah, they want a new beginning. They want to start all over. They want to take this leap of faith with you with the full card. Could be an Aries. Could be an Aquarius. 
It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but something's got somebody blocked. You may be blocked from this person. Um, this person may have had, uh, may kept you overwhelmed. Why am I hearing somebody may have back problems? Somebody may have a, a back problem, back issues. I don't know why I'm hearing that. I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to say what Spirit tells me. Six of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Um, It could have been somebody that was breadcrumbing you. You know, because there's two people here that somebody's given to, right? Somebody could have been given to somebody, and, you know, not giving you enough or something like that. It wasn't fair. It wasn't an even give and take. Because this person's got scales here. Maybe they want to come back and try to um, now be fair. Maybe they want to be fair now. But somebody wasn't giving. Somebody was breadcrumbing somebody here. They want a new beginning. They want to offer something big this time. Okay, spirit. Thank you for the messages. Let's go. Yeah, somebody's keeping quiet though. Somebody's keeping very quiet. Or somebody's going to just think about this new beginning, this offer. Somebody's going to think about the offer. They're going to sleep on it, okay? Think about it. <laughs> you guys are going to be thinking about it. Somebody is. Collective. New beginnings. Twin flame. Soulmate partners. What's up in this Saturn retrograde? So, yeah, this came out before. I just looked at just seen it. But anyway, it's the devil. Somebody deal with the Capricorn and the Knight of Cups. Somebody's obsessed with um, being romantic or wanting to bring this offer in. Let me show it to you again. They're being very aggressive or very obsessive of doing it. We get a lot of obsessed energy that's coming out in these readings. My God, these people, you know, like have a change of heart. Like they really see what they lost, especially going in this transit that we're going in. You know, a new beginning. People done wised up. People have uh, gotten their downloads and they're starting to open their eyes and being awakened. Okay, they're awakening. People are awakening. They're like, oh my God, I was in a slumber. What have I done? And they're trying to reconcile things. They're trying to bring it back together because oh, they were in this devil energy, a dark energy, a dark place, dealing with dark people. And it was keeping them from, you know, bringing that love, bringing that offering of love. Um, let me see. that one pop up there like that and this one why did I do that show me spirit show me but um <laughs> and somebody's bringing in this offer I feel like somebody's going somebody here is going to um try to try to fight it off try to fight it off Yeah, it's going to put somebody in a defensive mode. They're going to be in there. Uh, uh, somebody here is going to be defensive, collective, possibly you. And here's the lover's card because there's a choice that has to be made. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a, a, a Capricorn, a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, um, an Aries Sagittarius Leo, Aquarius and Leo, um, Did I say Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio already? <laughs> and a Gemini. So there's going to be some type of, somebody's going to fight off this connection or defend themselves or feel like they have to defend themselves. Why? Because with the Four of Pentacles, um, somebody's holding back. Somebody's going to defend themselves and hold back from this connection. That's what's going on so far. Let's see. Let's see. Got the Emperor and the Hermit, two major arcana cards, Virgo energy and the Emperor is the Aries energy. So it could be Aries and the, 
a Virgo involved here. So it's telling me somebody going to stand their ground because they've seen the light or the light has been shed. They've been like in hermit mode. Somebody's going to take back their power, take back their control. Somebody wants to take back control by holding back from this uh, offer of love and kind of like go deep inside themselves or you know kind of be quiet like get to themselves somebody going to take control back their life by by just being to themselves and going inside seeking spiritual advice some of you may be uh seeking or talking to tarot card readers now so trying to find out the information about this person who wants to bring back the dead <laughs> Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, y'all not interested. Somebody's not interested. Hmm. Wow. Queen of Cups. Somebody's using their intuition. Or somebody could be in love though. You know, somebody wants to work on this situation. King uh, I mean um Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to work hard on this situation. Somebody wants to put in the energy star card. They're having hope and faith. They're, they're keeping their hope that this could work out if they put a lot of energy and work into it. And the page of cups here, um, they want to apologize. Somebody feels like they need to apologize and say they're sorry. So they're going to put in the work and effort to try to bring this thing back together because they see that you're guarded. They see you're heavily guarded. They're trying to bring your guards down because you know you they were let you left them somebody left somebody out in the cold. Somebody left somebody alone to fend for themselves here. It was a very cold way that they left. And then, you know, six of swords and then moved on, moved away. This was the past here. Somebody really that's why somebody has to really fight for this connection because they know what they've done. They just left somebody out in the cold. I feel like to be with somebody else, to be with somebody here else with a low vibrational energy with the devil card, like a, a, a toxic, a, 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 a toxic person, a, um, somebody with a low vibration they were chained and stuck to. They could have been manipulated into this relationship. But now somebody sees and they want you back, collective. Yeah, somebody who put you through a hell of a lot. They put you through a lot here. And you're still hanging. You, you, you really just getting over this person because you're still moving on. But there was a lot that you went through with this person. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, possibly. And I feel like, you know, you're standing your ground, but yet let, let, you're going to let them talk or have their say or something like that. But you're going to use your mind over your heart this time. You know, yeah, you're using your mind over your heart, over your heart, because this person took you through a lot. So you you kind of like awaken, like, you know, um, they want to they got a bright idea. though. they try to come up with a bright idea offer or something like that. And then the two of wands, you got to make a decision. gotta make a decision with this offer what are you gonna do i see you like i said hearing this person out okay so we got the two of cups that's a relationship so you may make the choice to get back with this person you may make the choice to get back with this person two of cups cancer pisces scorpio and then the magician and then i feel like some magic is going to happen between the two of you <laughs> Yeah, the King of Pentacles, this person has grown a lot, like they're very grounded. The King of Pentacles is somebody who's very grounded, very earthly, um, somebody who's very devoted and dedicated, somebody who uh, is like a workaholic, they work all the time, okay? This person either looks at you like this or, or they're like this now than compared to what they used to be. This person got a lot to offer. Okay, now we got the lovers here. There's two lovers in this deck. So some of you heavily talking to a Gemini. 
there's an angel that's going to bless this union. Somebody could be asking some... Now, okay, somebody's coming in naked. Now, you can see in one of these cars, they're naked here and here. They have clothes on. So, somebody here wasn't being as, as honest as they should have been because they're wearing clothes here. But now, they're coming naked like they're exposing they're exposing who they... They're exposing themselves. They're, they're, they're letting their guards down. Can I say that? Or letting, letting their clothes off something. Okay. <laughs> because because this one with the clothes was in the past they was undecided undecided here they wasn't being honest maybe you both weren't being honest with each other because you both got clothes on right and then this one is like no clothes like somebody's being up front so this was a relationship in the past so now it looks like two people are opening up to one another that's why I'm seeing it Yeah, uh, 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 you guys might be celebrating together. Like, this is going to, look, this is good. This is really good. A lot of you soulmate twin flames out there are coming in the union. Some of you, it's with somebody that you already was in a relationship for a long time. You went through hell and high water with this person. And it looks like they're coming back correct this time. Or maybe you both have done some things to each other. Like, I don't know, that wasn't cool when it caused this separation. But they're coming, somebody's coming back to reunite here. Um, somebody may get an offer of um, a wedding or a ring or, you know, marriage proposal, anything like that. Just, you know, stable, something stable. Two of Pentacles, I feel like you guys are going to work together, like to balance this thing out. That's what I'm getting with it. Yeah, and you're going to produce the Ten of Pentacles, like um, a stable family, uh, money, stability success with each other possibly going to have uh, make a child if you don't have a child already you might have a child by this person or you just have a child doesn't necessarily have to be by this person and i feel like y'all going to build an empire together yeah look four of wands yeah y'all going to get married for one thing i done told you that see that's what the that's what the celebration mm -hmm. is yeah this is coming uh, coming back together here it looks like somebody made up their mind and let their both of you made your mind up to let your guards down you're naked. You're going to shine like you're going to show each other like there's an angel here to help you guys manifest, come back together like soulmates, twin flames. That's what this reading is about. And there's going to be a wedding for wives living together at home possibly y'all gonna get a home a house together moving together and there's gonna be you know plenty of wealth there like children and stuff like gonna have it all with that uh ten of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn aries sagittarius leo energy okay spirit anything else any other messages we have for the twin flames for this The Saturn retrograde. This, this is what's coming up. It's really beautiful, y'all. Yeah, beautiful. And I could understand somebody being hesitant of, of a situation like this or hesitant of each other because it looked like somebody really took advantage of somebody possibly finances and giving. Like somebody may have gave more than what the other was given and taking advantage and stuff really bad. And it it, it caused this relationship to go sour. To, it caused it to be dead. Like you probably ain't seen this person in a long time. Or some of you, it happened and then all of a sudden somebody had a change of mind and they're just, you know, like wanting to resurrect something that may, they may feel like it's ended or they may feel like it's gone. They might have been dealing with a queen of wands in reverse. This, remember, this is open reading, so it could be male or female. Somebody who is very promiscuous. Somebody who's like hot in the butt. Somebody like very aggressive. Somebody who's very conniving. They, they do anything to get what they want. They don't take no for an answer. This person, again, they stay the type to sleep around with whoever, whatever, whenever. This person could be somebody who uh, plays around with magic, black magic words, uh, manipulation, very manipulative. Very manipulative, very cunning, very cutting. You gotta watch a person like this. And they use their beauty to to get over whether it's a male or female. They use their they're usually beautiful and they use that to their advantage. Yeah, somebody who's who who gets around. 
somebody who's like a wild horse, like they all over the place. First they here, then they there, then they jumping around everywhere. Somebody who's basically a hoe or, you know, male or female. This person could have been like this to you in the recent, in the past for some of you. They could have been like this, acting like this. Somebody could have went towards a, a, a karmic partnership, rushing like too fast. They might have rushed into something really fast. That's what happened in the past. And now they're waiting, you know, somebody is like, they kind of calm themselves down and they're waiting for their, they're waiting for the return of this relationship. And there is coming fast too. Like they waiting, like somebody was waiting on you collective. They was like waiting for this to happen. Okay. Waiting. And now they rushing, not, they coming in really fast with communication and stuff. Like they felt like trapped. They felt trapped, like they couldn't move. They, could, you know, they felt trapped, and like, or they feel. Like this person um, was in a, dealing with this karmic person that they were in. They was like, they was feeling, they felt like they turned their back on it, you know, here it is. They turned their back on it, okay? Or will turn their back on it or whatever. They turned their back on that situation. Now they're waiting to for communication or travel, travel back in, coming back in. But I feel like you're the one in, in your head or playing mind games or with yourself. Like you're putting yourself in some kind of mental trap because of it, like not wanting to see not wanting to move, like you're, you're playing, you're playing mind games with yourself because of this, because it's coming in so fast, but somebody wants to offer marriage here. Some of you could have already been married to this person or separated from this person with the hair font. Some of you are talking to a Taurus. Yeah, y'all had a lot of fights, a lot of competition, a lot of uh, arguments, a lot of outside influences that was tearing this relationship apart. There was other people involved. Yeah, and they kept you confused and illusion and like just confusion I'm picking up a lot of. Like somebody putting somebody in a fantasy. Like making making stuff seem something that is not, or you were seeing stuff that is not that it wasn't. Somebody may have done that. Like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Here's a Taurus. I'm sorry, Cancer right here with the... But things are moving forward at now. The yin and the yang. Soulmate, twin, mate, twin flames coming together. Divine unions. Somebody decide to settle down. Or this person could have been in confusion with this energy. Somebody could have had them in illusions. Had them in other people. Something like that. What else, Spirit? Any more messages, Spirit? <laughs> and now somebody's tamed. See, they tamed their self. Um, they went spiritual. Somebody learned to balance themselves out. Look, that's about balance big time right there. Two major arcana cards. Somebody talked to a Sagittarius. Yeah, they was waiting. Slow. It was a slow process. Something took a while, a long time for them to settle down and, you know, and, and balance themselves out to move forward to, you know, so they could have their their victory. Yeah devil here um some of you dealing with a capricorn here's the devil i thought the devil yeah, they got two devils in here too let's look at this let's see what the difference is i feel one devil is in reverse and one's in the upright but i'm trying none of them it doesn't look any different to me So it's just giving me um, obsession. Well, the difference here is like 
No, I can't see no different mess up. Oh, just like in the lovers. Remember we had both lovers in the deck? The 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 positive and the negative. We got the positive and the negative devil devil card. So somebody's released their self from, from, from their terrible ways. Somebody released their self from a devil energy. Like they just totally turned it around. Like or and I feel I'm picking up like somebody's uh uh true something revealed something came out about somebody seen something about a person and they got they let it go they, they unchained themselves from the devil mm -hmm. two of swords here but somebody here didn't want to hear it see it you know somebody didn't want to let go somebody here There's a blocking energy. It was somebody who was blocking something. Blocking. There was somebody here that, you know, put this on time out, as I said, too, with the Two of Swords. I'm getting a lot of energy from that card there. And I feel like there was somebody else here that didn't want to accept this breakup or letting go of. Star card. It could have been an Aquarius. But, but somebody kept their hope and their faith in uh, the future and what they were going to pour into. Yeah, good news. Paige, somebody got some good news. Somebody got some good news. Or somebody ha came up with a bright idea. Somebody came up with an idea about something because they didn't lose their hope and faith. Or this person was telling some, you know, the person that's coming back in or came back in wants to, you know... Um, Keep the faith and keep it positive. I'm hearing that word. They're trying to keep everything positive because they know they broke your heart. They know it was a heartbreak here. Three of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay. And the um, Knight of Swords rushing in fast without thinking. Somebody's like, I know I broke your heart. I know it. I know I did. I got the. I got to set this is your twin flames out twin flame soulmates act. They can't stay up. It's just one was awoken, woken, one was woken before the other. Somebody just realized what they had. That somebody realized what was gone. So they're trying to keep the news. They want to bring positive news here. They want to they want to um heal your heart and they're going to do it really really fast. To resurrect everything. Yeah. But somebody's focus. Somebody's focus is on the um, negative. Somebody. The one that did the damage in the past. Is focusing on the positive. They're trying to make this. They're trying to heal your broken heart. But some of you out there are focusing on the negative. You're crying over spilt milk. Things that already done happened. Spirit is saying, take your mind out of that. Get your emotions right. Because there's still some, there's, it's here. It's still here, twin flame soulmates out there. It's still here. But you're not focusing on it. You got to get your head out of thinking about the, dwelling on the past. And trying to win at all costs. I feel like some are going to try to win at all costs. You got to stop. I know they did you wrong. I know they did you bad. I know they did you nasty. Okay. For some of you out there. And you don't have to take this person back. I'm just saying. I'm just delivering the messages. This is just the energy that's coming out. For a lot of you. Yeah. This person was very deceptive in the past. They was like trying to win at all costs. They was. You know. They was manipulative. This person was very manipulative. And that's what you keep thinking about. Collective. You keep thinking about it. And that's what's. You know, that's why you single now. Because you keep dwelling on the past for some of you. There's a time and a place for everything. You know, you heat that's why, you know, we always talk about healing, going through a healing process, especially when there's a breakup. Don't just jump into another relationship. You gotta heal. Because if you don't heal, all you're gonna keep going through is this right here. Every time you meet somebody, all you're going to do is think about this, what somebody else did to you, or you're going to be thinking somebody's going to do this to you. You can't do that. Or somebody come back and they're changed and you're just going to be thinking about this. You got to get out of that energy. Regardless if you take somebody back from the past or not, you still have to 
um, heal from a past person or something that somebody done to you that wasn't, you know, good. Okay? Because you don't want to be single all your life. That's what I'm hearing spirit say. It's not from simply love. It's from spirit. Okay? You, you know, yeah. Uh, you got to heal. Because spirit is trying to give you uh, a, another opportunity or a, a, a brand new opportunity. Either way it goes, you still have to heal some of you out there. You got to heal and you got to stop thinking about and dwelling about the past. That's not going to get you nowhere. You're wasting time and energy dwelling on the past of what somebody done to you. You got to heal from it. People say, how you heal? Well, you have to ask for healing. Spirit hearing you when you talk. You have to talk it. Say it out loud. I want to be healed from this situation. And that's when the process begins. And you'll know when you, you're healed. You'll know when you're, when you're healed. Take it from me. You'll know. Okay? Yeah. Somebody wants to be committed now. Somebody wants, you know, Spirit's trying to give you, some of you out there, okay, collective. Spirit's trying to give you a, a new cup. And it's going to be overflowing joy, happiness in a relationship. This is about commitment. This is about joining together with somebody. It could be about marriage too, three of coins. It's about collaborating with somebody. Spirit's giving it to you. But some of you got to get out of this. This like, you got to get out of this. Okay. Thank you, Spirit, for the messages. Anything else? Wow, that just flew out. Two flew out, okay? We got the, the two of cups again. This is your soulmate. This is a soulmate energy here. And the moon is in reverse, so there's nothing you have to worry about. That's what Spirit's trying to say. There's nothing that you're worried about. They're giving you this. Spirit is giving you this. The most high. You see that hand coming from the, the heavens? The clouds above? They're giving you this new start, this new beginning. Take your time. There ain't nothing you got to rush into or nothing. Take your time because it ain't going nowhere. It's not going anywhere. Once it starts, it's, it's a new beginning. But heal from this, please. A lot of you, I'm hearing stress and heal from this. You could just look at it and tell what that's all about. Okay, moon in reverse. There's nothing to be afraid of. Let your guards down, okay? Because this is a spiritual union. It was meant to be. Some of you may be talking to a Leo. Some of you Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is your love, your true love here. Regardless, it's someone from the past or someone new. It's going to be different for everybody. Yeah, it's time to clear up your house. Clean up your house. Let all that, that stuff go. And I'm just reading from what I know what the cards all mean. I know what they all mean, but I'm I'm using the intuition and the energies that spirit is giving me what to say. I'm a messenger. So clear out your house, get everything cleared out, heal yourself so you can rebuild because that's what spirit is giving you a new a new life. With this person from before or somebody new. They're giving you a new chance regardless. You're getting a new chance. See, Saturn in retrograde. That's what we're talking about here for twin flames and soul soulmates. The wheel is spinning. Either you're going to hop on board or you're going to sit back for some of you. And I ain't trying to be funny. This is spirit speaking, all right? And you're going to just, you're just going to be in this energy, right? Where you keep dwelling on the past, you know, trying to think about how ways you're going to get somebody back, manipulating. You're always going to stay sick, single doing that. The spirit's like, no, I want you to have this. Here's this a blessing, okay? The wheel is turning in your favor. Jump on board or just, you know, but you got to heal again. Heal. Heal from your broken heart, a lot of you. Heal from your broken hearts. Or you're just going to keep repeating a cycle over and over and over again. And you'll never see. You'll always be alone. I don't know who that's for, but, you know, that's what Spirit said. Spirit wants you to be happy. Let the wheel turn. Jump on that wheel. Let it turn in your favor so you can have your emotional happiness. Okay? That's what he said. And justice will prevail. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you, Spirit. Let's all say thank you, Spirit, for the messages.
hope it made sense. Some of y'all need to stop being so stubborn about certain situations and, you know, like I said, old thinking stuff about the past, how somebody treated you, how they broke your heart. Happens to the best of us, okay? Somebody broke their heart too. Way worse than what you they did yours. You better believe it. Because whatever goes around comes around. Always. So you got to have some kind of empathy on this person. That, you know, this person that I'm reading for, pe people, whatever, that's coming back or, you know, new. They have learned their lesson. They have learned their lesson. Their eyes are wide open. They know what they want. And, and what they want is you. They want a new beginning with you. They done changed, they done bossed up, they done changed, they a full-blown male or female now because they had time to rest and think about and get spiritual. They got spiritual, they got spiritual on you guys. They have totally changed, they totally changed. So, you know, in the process of this, you should have been healing regardless of this person coming back. You don't wait till somebody come back and then try to heal because you're, you, you, it's, it's just gonna waste so much time and energy. And it's going to cause you to be like this. Like, I don't, I don't want this. You're supposed to have been done healed. I don't want this. This person done changed. They done changed. They're willing to give you everything that they took from you. All the heartache. They want to make it up to you. They want to give you the Ten of Pentacles. My God. Some of y'all need to think, rethink. Stop listening to negative stuff. All right? Think positive. Ain't, ain't no, this person ain't gonna hurt nobody. It'll been through enough too. You gotta think about that. Don't just think, don't just be selfish when it comes to things. Think about what this person went through. And they went through it because they're your twin flame. And then y'all met was meant to be together. Period. Period. Hope y'all enjoyed the reading. Please put your th put the likes up. Please hit the like before you leave. Hit the like before you leave so it can get out here, please. Um, subscribe if you like. I love to see you on the channel. It's just going to be moving on here. And uh, appreciate you coming aboard. Take care. Bye.